Hey everybody! Welcome to WrestleMania. I don't know what I was gonna say there, and then I just... It was too easy to just keep making the W sound... Eve? Blue Baby again. I'm not gonna restart. Everyone likes a Blue Baby run from time to time. CBQJZPSZ. Last run was a whole lot of fun. Uh, especially once we managed to get all of our... Uh, you know, our gears working at the same time, but we ran into a little bit of trouble at the start. I'm hoping that we managed to actually keep it going for ourselves in the future. Maybe get, like, balling out of control right off the bat here. What do you think? Poop or Anarchist Cookbook? Personally, I'm a little bit more of an Anarchist Cookbook type of guy. I think it might be able to work out a little bit better for us uh, if we're able to hit some rocks here that are beneficial for us. But apart from that, I am... I'm thinking maybe if we try it here, we might be able to find like a crawl space or something like that. I'm not totally sure though. Nothing yet. Also, tinted rocks, because uh, as Blue Baby, we don't start with any rocks, or sorry, any bombs ourselves. So, we don't start with any rocks ourselves too, but that's unlikely to change any time in the near future if I'm being realistic. Hmm. Well, we still got an item room coming on this floor. We can't be too bent out of shape. I was feeling disappointed, and then I was like, we've only fought with, like one enemy. Oh, that just real bad oh, placement there. Let's sacrifice a whole spirit art just to get ourselves out of the open there. Um, really poor play on my part there. I should have put myself in a situation where I was a little bit better off, but, you know, it happens. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to blow up the uh, TNT barrel. Find a crawl space. I don't know if a black market's going to help us out that much because it will, like, literally kill us immediately, but... Uh, fool card, maybe, if we end up managing to make a, a boss rush run on this run. But for right now, just a whole lot of... Oh, jeez. whole lot of commentary largely relating to what I'm doing. Not a whole lot for what I want to have happen. But, you know, in my defense, normally you find an item room prior to this point. Uh, but we have not done that. What we might be able to find here, if we're super lucky, is... Uh, enough money to buy a spirit heart. If there's some way that we can actually get into the shop. But I don't know if that's going to be likely either. Um, we have our boss fight, and I really doubt we're going to die. We could use Anarchist Cookbook to get a bomb. I can't believe we went all the way around without actually getting into our item room here. Okay, this item room could mean a lot, actually. I'm at half HP because I'm an idiot and made some extremely poor plays against, admittedly, some pretty tricky enemies. Mr. Boom. Yeah, look, I'll be real with you. I think that a Mr. Boom pickup is more valuable than Anarchist Cookbook, because we can use it a little bit more constructively. We can place it. It does as much damage as a Mr. Mega. It's got a slightly slower charge time, or sorry, slightly lower, slightly smaller charge time, which is really good. Um, it's not to say that it's a really good item, but it is, it's definitely better than the Poop, and probably better than Anarchist Cookbook, because Anarchist Cookbook is only probably better than the Poop. And maybe not even, but oh my god, okay. We gotta relax here. That extra spirit art drop is crazy good, as is this. I was actually just about to say, let's stop worrying about uh, a deal with the devil on the next floor and just worry about survival, but actually we're in a position now where we can afford to worry about a deal with the devil on this floor. We're gonna have to, you know, get pretty lucky. Either with our shop or with a, uh, a random spirit art drop, or a tinted rock for that matter, but... It's not out of the question for us. That was a pretty... Let's put it this way. If you were playing this seed and you were playing better than I was right now, you would probably have enough spirit hearts to be feeling very confident, even if you end up fighting perhaps a difficult boss on this floor. We don't really get anything out of this rainbow poop. We haven't gotten anything out of any of the poop if we're being 100% honest about it. That can change in a heartbeat, though. Anything of value here? Not off the cuff, at least. Um... Well, I'll tell you what, if we're not, we're probably not going to use Mr. Boom offensively that much on this floor, except on the boss, where we definitely want to use it. And Spider Bite is so good for us here. Uh, what will probably, uh, I don't think that's going to be a secret room now that I think about it. I think this will probably be a, a secret room attempt, at least. Let's try this. Nope, alright. Because th there were, <clears throat> like, bombs, sorry, not bombs, but rocks and fire blocking the potential secret room from the other direction. So I don't think that's going to be possible to be a secret room next to the item room and thus next to the curse room oh well spider bite huge pickup for us um maybe i i overreacted a little bit talking about it as if it was like you know the second coming of christ or something like that it, it's okay though it's it's still very good 
We'll try it this way. It shouldn't get anything, but maybe we'll get super lucky. Gotta access the red chest, you know, could have two spirit hearts in it. Got the item. Or teleportation to a deal with the devil. We have to. Um, yeah, yeah, we have to. And again, we've got this weird strategy, as, or weird situation as Blue Baby, where if we were any other character, at this point we might want to hurt ourselves, take red heart damage to lower our chances of getting a deal with the devil after the boss fight, and thus gain more chance to get one on the next floor, but because we can't force ourselves to take red heart damage here, it doesn't really make any sense to do so. Um, let's just see what item we got. This is, in a way, I guess it's a relief. Oh, it worked. Okay. <laughs> I was like, if that doesn't work, this is going to be a much longer fight. But it worked. So we're fine. And we don't want to go to that. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll help out our situation, but it is what it is. Um, let's... Well, let's talk about meat first. It was point three. Let's just talk about, like, salami. We don't have to talk about the meat item in the game. But no, the uh, point three damage is good. Spirit Heart, I'm going to sacrifice, like, pretty much immediately here. Ended up getting a key and another Spirit Heart out of it. So we broke even on this, except we picked up an extra key, which is fine. Um... It's really, the, it's the point three damage. What about Guppy's tail? Well, that, that's an insurance pickup in case we become Guppy later. But also, if we end up uh, getting Humbling Bundle or just, you know, Rusted Key or Flat Penny, and we end up being able to open a lot of these golden chests, then we stand a pretty good chance of getting items like Fate, Bob's Brain. Those can actually make a pretty meaningful difference uh, collectively. As can a Yara Rune. Uh, I'm not in love with the idea of literally holding on to the Sierra Rune for the entirety of the game. But it's the best play for us. The only other time, the only thing, and it, it could happen, but the only thing that would make me give up this Yara Rune is if we uh, got ourselves in a really bad situation and I could double like two Spirit Hearts and pick up four. That's all that I can really think of off the top of my head right now that would make me give it up, but that's okay. We'll try to hold it. You know what would make it awesome is if we could actually pick up uh, the blank card in advance. And in fact, that's something that we can think about as a future strategy. Right now, we would not have enough money to buy a blank card. But if we used our key on the shop earlier and, uh, you know, used Mr. Boom every two rooms to blow up our donation machine, we could have conceivably gotten that much money. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think with our relatively low selection of bombs right now, probably should have used the Fool card to get out of that room, but... Uh, not, well, we could have done that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, with a relatively low selection of bombs right now, we're probably better off keeping Mr. Boom. I'm just gonna use two of diamonds. We could have gone, we could have spent a key, gone into our, uh, item room, or not item room, but our shop, blown up our donation machine, and then used it and probably gained, like, an extra eight cents. Who cares? We could, you know, we don't need it right now. Might want to pick up a spirit heart, but I don't know, I'm feeling... I wouldn't say cocky, but I'm feeling somewhat confident about our chances here. Which is kind of wild. Because we got a, what an, an item from the deal with the devil that's relatively useless. A slight damage bonus. We got starting HP. <laughs> it's not that good. But it could be worse. Uh, we'll probably hit this curse room up right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> yes, we will. Okay, we will use the D100. Why are we going to use the D100? Because, oh, we got Nod, Leaf, Common, Cold. Because, uh, our run sucked. And this will make it, maybe not better immediately, but long term we would expect it to become better. So yeah, the D100, this is not standard Northern Lion, like, oh, I have a great run, but I'm gonna re-roll it for absurdity because I'm beholden to the wishes of the people. Oh, aren't I such a great guy? No, this is, like, sincerely... This is the right play... Oh, I didn't even see you there. This is the right play for a strategic game. Yo, our damage sucks right now. I wish I didn't pick up Common Cold. Because if our next reroll is awesome, we would have loved to have had Common Cold on it. Oh well. Please, shoot a bomb here. Shoot a bomb crane. No? Alright, hanged man. I'll use it right here for no reason whatsoever. Almost take damage in the process. Why am I using this voice? I don't know. Um, I don't think Nod Leaf really does anything for us here. I do think that you're probably a little bit better. Here's the ideal situation for D100. Your run sucks, your spacebar item is t Excuse me? Your run sucks, your spacebar item is terrible. Reroll everything. Okay, we gotta be super cautious here. In fact, I think I'm safer on this other side, even with two of these bomb throwing dudes. They can kill me in one hit, but I don't know about this, this red champion thing here. That'll kill me in one hit, and it might shoot bullets instead. No, it shoots bombs, but still. 
I didn't know that. <laughs> Might explode into ooze at the end. We gotta go to this shop. And it's gotta have a spirit heart. Or a charge. We'll take the spirit heart. Just gotta survive long enough to be able to use D100 again. I hate this shit. I hate this shit! Ugh. Dude, don't ever let me be the last to know. But seriously, don't kill me here. I there's there's fun in this run. I can feel it. And I wanna I wanna use the D100 to its maximum strategic benefit as opposed to just, you know, feeling beholden to it. There's value there. I could blow you up and get a better deal with the devil chance. If I get a bomb. Ever. I gotta seriously watch where I'm going here, because every enemy kills me in two hits. Most enemies, well, some enemies kill me in one hit. I don't want to overstate it. Like, one of those shots could have gotten me, man. Yeah, fuck this blue guy. We're gonna kill him last. We're gonna be able to D100. You know, the D100 does act like a D6, but... I don't know. I don't really want to re-roll any items right now. I could re-roll the shop, I guess, but I don't want to walk back in case I end up fucking it up. Alright, give me some HP ups here. Manifest the spirit hearts, because we're still, you know, on the blue baby filter. Ten bombs. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, much larger shots. Leech, Aquarius, um... Whatever, you know, Halo of Flies. Whatever our shots are, I'm kind of digging them right now. Okay, so this is like a long con here. We're doing a big wide arc, because I want Aquarius to fuck with these guys. Leech, you could help out a lot too. Um, yeah, the longer that, the, oh, there we go, that's what I was concerned about. The longer this trail goes on, the better it is for me. Stop him from doing any kind of shifty shortcut type, type stuff. And this is actually, this is a pretty good run. Wouldn't hesitate to reroll, it depends what we get in the future, but, um, what I'll be looking for is uh, like a magic musher, a balls of steel, or an HP up. That's very scary. Pretty fly. That's really good. I can't believe we got all those mushrooms taken out there. I don't know how we did that. Come on, come on. All right. You got something for me? Oh, that could be real bad. Okay. Be smart. Why did I take small steps back there? Because these guys, you know, if I if I went too fast into the safe zone, some of them might reroute and uh, find a more direct line to get to me, and that would be real bad for my business here. So, this is th the right way to do it, I think. These guys, it's a little bit of a safer room. We're not going to die in one hit. Got to be smart, though, man. This will probably end up being a rerollable run. Ugh, come on. Reason I say that is because it doesn't have, you know, uh, it doesn't have a killer tear effect. It doesn't have a brimstone. Well, I don't know if we'd ever get brimstone anyway, but it doesn't have a um, epic fetus, twenty twenty, triple shot, anything like that that would uh, really tie us to this run. And that's kind of what we're going for right now, man. We need something to Zachary tie Brian us like right onto this fucking run because this is this is above average, but I'm still scared shitless because we can't pick up any. <laughs> Any extra spirit hearts. Uh, this becomes a very scary situation, quite honestly. I hope we can't D100 ourselves to death as Blue Baby. I don't know, this might be the first time we've ever had to deal with this situation. It's definitely the first time I've ever said that sentence, to the best of my knowledge. It's quite a weird one. Um, but, all, you know, the, the run is within my hands right now. I have one HP. If I don't get hit, I live. If I get hit, I die. It's on me. It's, uh, it's refreshing. This is not a death sentence. You do have to be cautious about knockback. Smart money is on not even attacking when he charges. Just let him charge, man. Yeah, we'll just keep him at bay as best as we can. The longer he stays still, the better it is for me because of the leech, but... He's not really choosing to stay still very long. I need you to charge so I can get to the other side. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I probably should have been killed there multiple times. There we go. This is a good place to be. We got space on top. 
Come on, this is the perfect time for the game to show it cares. Give me a nice little... Oh, pretty fly, I love you. Give me a nice little squeezy pickup. And save my life. I, I abandoned my methodology way too quickly there. Oh, man, this is almost a situation where I'd rather not take it and then reroll, but this is good. This is HP. I don't think we're going to reroll out of super bandage. The spirit hearts are probably treated as consumables now and should stick with us. I hope I'm not wrong about that. But hey, we survived the floor that it looked like we would not survive. That's good news. Are we going to reroll this? We're going to reroll it. The faster we reroll, we even got a spirit heart there. The, the quicker we get into some kind of cool run. Um, this is Mysterious Liquid Parasite. We get to keep our Halo of Flies, which is nice. Uh, I don't know, man. It seems like our damage is pretty good. Very slow. I think this is a run that I'm unlikely to stick with, but I'm happy that we got... Oh, we got Cricket's... No, not Cricket's Body. Just, still just the Parasite. Um, it's a run I'm unlikely to stick with, but I'm happy with it right now. Damage is pretty good. Tears are so small, it makes you... It gives you, like, an optical illusion. You think that your damage is shitty, but it's actually... It seems pretty good. Which, good enough that I didn't feel the need to go, you know, bomb that battery to try to pick it up. I can't believe I... <laughs> How many hits does it take to kill each one of you? The other guys went up in smoke. Um, right now, it's just... I'm really enjoying the fact that after that super bandage pickup and this most recent reroll, we got some seriously good... HP. Some survivability. Chrome, eh, why not take Eve's Bird Foot and then we'll get a reroll right here. Um... Yeah, it wasn't as elegant as it could be. This is a good situation. Because if we reroll and it sucks, we can probably go right to our shop and get another charge. There's a chance we would fight Greed instead, or just not be able to buy it, but... I don't know. I like our odds. That was really dumb of me. Do we like this or hate this? I hate it, so we pick it up and reroll it. I guess if we left it on the ground, we would have rerolled it as well. Got some stompy action going on here. Rotten baby, Mongo baby, lots of money. Even though you ain't got money. I can't believe our Yara rune sticks with us. I'm very happy about that. Um, we've got like a mulligan type thing going on too. It's not just Rotten Baby. I think we've, we've maybe got the mulligan too. I, I don't want to gamble and lose here. Ah, that's a big loss. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're definitely spawning more flies here. I think I might stick with this run. It's a little boring, um, but the fly generation is out of control. And that, you know, that gets exciting pretty quickly. I shouldn't be stomping these, by the way, but I continue to stomp them. Wow, that was absurdly good luck. Uh, I continue to stomp them because I can, I guess. Is that a good enough reason, Mr. President? I don't know. It's it's not a standout run, but just because it's not a... Well, I mean, it is a standout run damage-wise, but not, like, item-wise. But just because it's not a standout run now doesn't mean it won't ever be a standout run. Oh, you know what it is? Is that Mongo Baby's copying Rotten Baby. Ah, that's a very interesting turn of events here. But... Um... That does mean we don't have the mulligan, which means we could get the mulligan if we rerolled. Let's see what we get in our deal with the devil. That'll if we get like brimstone, that's it, man. We're not we're not going back. Bend down one time, bend down two times. I'm never going back again. We're skipping the rest of the rooms. I don't trust him. We need our devil deals, and I think we're gonna get him. The curse of the blind, fantastic. This is what you always want to see when you also have the D100. Fuck it, I'm gonna reroll it, even though we just got the pentagram. But you're spawning two flies, man. Yo. Thank you. Okay. Thank you picked your moment there. Are you happy with it? Fuck it. Let's reroll it, man. I don't even know what's going on here. Um, we're large and in charge, clearly. Uh, we got Pyro. Is that what that's supposed to be? We got number one. Either $3 bill, oh, that's real bad. Either $3 bill or um, Tough Love. I'm thinking it's Tough Love right now. Oh, Infestation 2. Okay, this is our run. Infestation 2 is too good to pass up. 
That should be our second guppy. And if we're gonna, there you go. We're uh, we're getting rid of the D100. D100, thank you. I was a little not that pleased with the reroll at first. Uh, now that I know we have Infestation 2 and we got our second guppy item. I'm happy. I think you've, you've done right by us. I had to sack up a little bit to take the item in the first place. You know, you gotta realize that you're, you're putting your uh, run in the hands of RNG Jesus, but all you can do is really control what the game gives you the option to control, and then, you know, hope that it all works out for the best, and thus far, it's looking pretty solid, especially if we can get to our shop with the amount of money that we got a, a reroll or two ago and uh, pick up Hive Mind, and then it's all over. Almost no matter what we get, as long as we're able to keep our HP above a certain thres threshold, we should be okay. Um, now, obviously, we'll go back for that. Yeah, this is this is pretty solid. Not set in stone, but like real good though. If only we had the rotten baby mongo baby combo on this one, I'd be living it up here. This is scary. Virgo. And on this floor, I mean the Virgo pickup's great, but on this floor, if we fuck it up and get soy milk, that's fine, man. We can always just go back and get the D100. All we gotta do is live until we can get a charge somehow. Once we get to the next floor, these Curses of the Blind has become a little bit more, uh, insidious. This one's pretty good, though. Come on, spider. Yeah, you're right! What? The spider didn't kill it? Totally my own fault for being an idiot, but come on, also. Um, Virgo. Good pills. Pretty fly. Uh, still keeping this Yara rune, man. I'm amazed that I've kept it alive. Given the circumstance. Oh, this is good. 48 hour energy. Don't mind if I do. Is this 48 hour energy? That's tears up. That's even better than 48 hour energy, probably. Alright. Alright, what's the big thing here? Well, I was really hoping we'd be able to get a spirit heart so I could actually take a deal with the devil without killing myself, but uh, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be possible, so we're probably gonna have to end up not taking our deal with the devil on this floor. Not the end of the world. We got a good, uh, if you could choose between a deal with the devil or a great reroll, on the D100 that is, I would take the great reroll, so I'm happy, but a little scared as well. Not wrong. Ideal setup, we get some HP from the boss. One deal with the devil that I can easily take. And then it's a guppy item. Bloat shouldn't be too bad, honestly, and it's it's nice that we have the opportunity to say that. You don't always get the opportunity to say that. Oh, that thank you for jumping. I never say that either. But I really appreciate that you took the opportunity to jump there. In a situation that could have been, you know, much sourer for me. Thank you for the invincibility as well. We do get a deal with the devil. We did not get HP. And this is not Krampus. Ah! Why did I do it? <laughs> oh, man. No, I probably just threw the whole run. Curse of the Blind again. Oh my god. What can I say? I was I was in, man. I was invested. Okay, this is fine. We're not done. Let's get a Spirit Heart, man. There's a Hero Fawn card right there. Don't even worry about it. Oh, should have used that on a room. That's okay. We learned something. I'm, I'm scared shitless. Oh, this is great. Oh, thank you. Isaac Gods. I shouldn't have gone in there. That could have been greed. You can't make too many of those. Oh, we shouldn't have done this, but it's not a big deal. Mistakes before one of them is going to be a big deal. All right. This is HP, man. Well, maybe, uh, oh, thank God. Maybe I got a little too, uh, invested in who dares wins there towards the end of that floor. But, uh, hey, man, if we end up getting out of this, Gimpy is a decent payout. Like, I'm not gonna be mad. We're gonna... This floor is gonna be a mess right now. I'm gonna be skipping rooms I don't have to go to. It's gonna be a disaster. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. But, uh... The idea is... Oh, shit. The idea is we'll pull out of it at some point. Um... And we'll, we'll start tackling it the normal way. Um... Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm being a little bit over dramatic right now. We're fine. Just be smart about stuff like this. You know, one one black heart payout is stellar. Oh man, guillotine is not what I was looking for. Um 
Okay, we need to save our key for the shop. They can't make us fight greed like 10 times in a row. We need the spirit heart. We might as well try the other ones, man. Red candle. Flame on. Champion bell. That's pretty good. We got to stick with Guppy's head. We don't have to, actually. But um, eh, we'll evaluate that as time goes on. Um, this is a very, very dangerous situation we find ourselves playing. This is us oh, depths too, man. So we should, we should commit. Or we're going to. Oh, that's so huge. Whatever we get, we're going to be committing to. Uh, we can't do the double key room. Red candle over guppies. Now we got to take red candle. We'll take a key. I think we just end up going. Even though I'd love to go to the curse room. I hope that if you disagree with my decisions here, you have some sympathy because this is a, uh, you know, it's definitely a tricky one. The red candle pickup is helping out a ton. No deal with the devil, but we'll take the Polaroid. As down to the next floor on a very, very scary run with a lot of offensive tools in our wheelhouse right now, but also, uh, well, quite fittingly, a lot of unknowns. You know what this comes down to? It's that curse of the blind, man. I mean, we're we're still in a position that I would consider pretty okay, but uh, it's it's that curse of the blind two floors ago. Where I end up taking Gimpy. And it's my it's within my own grasp to not take Gimpy there. But I know myself. <laughs> I was pretty confident I was gonna go for it, and, and I did, and here we are. For better maybe? For worse, maybe? I don't know. We got Virgo, all pills are good except that one, which is just not bad. Alright, we got butt bombs. So if we can the thing that scares me about bombs right now is that I gotta make sure that I'm far enough away, and it's kinda difficult to tell that with guillotine, but still pretty good. If we uh, if we have to resort to that. Okay, no keys, so we can't do that. Tinted rocks become the lifeblood of the whole run right now. Yeah, we gotta. Well, it's looking like another uh, another crazy one. It's a bit of a tricky situation because I do want the left hand, but I don't want it. I don't want it bad enough to risk, uh, well, not to risk, but just to straight up lose the cancer trinket right now. I have uh, mixed results using the left hand late in the game. I mean, when it works out for you, it's beautiful. When it doesn't, you might you often end up giving up more than you'd like, and you're comfortable with. You just don't realize until later. Well, I ate like an eighth pretty fly, so that's pretty good. So far, we have not taken damage on the floor, but it hasn't been kind. We also have not uh, gained any HP on the floor. And our spider army is straight up dead. I understand that we have a... Uh, hmm, we have a uh, Master of Unlocking. We could go into that mob trap room. I don't really want to go into the mob trap room. It's kind of my thing. It was not just a key related issue. It's also that I don't really feel like it's worth my time and the possible investment of HP that is, you know, very scary to me. We we can still touch creep. Like sorry, we should not touch creep is what I mean to say. I almost just want to blow this guy up for the deal with the devil chance. But I'm not gonna. I'm going to I'm going to bank on us getting the deal regardless. Well, if you blow up the other beggar, that might count. I'm, I'm just literally not sure. Uh, okay, we are going to go to the curse room. Because we got to try the guppy dream, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Is it going to kill us? I think it might kill us. I can't do it, man. I can't fucking do it. I, uh, it's killing me. It's killing me inside. Can we do it? I don't know. The brimstone pickup. Where's my tinted rocks? Did we even open the other one? What did we? I, I it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let it go. Let it go. We're still good. We're still good. Black card in here. Then you can pick it up for sure. For sure. Okay, I don't even know how that affects our situation. 
I am very confused <laughs> with the the situation we're facing right now. I think we're, we might be at even four and a half hearts. At which point, I have squandered that brimstone chance. Oh my fucking Christ on a cracker. I'm an idiot! <laughs> Goodbye. Forever. But not forever, I'll be back. That's a terrible way for the street to end, but I really... I thought I had it, man! It was the full heart on the way into the curse room. Shit. That's a stupid way to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.